What's up everyone, it's Bruno here at Anime Expo day one and today I'm joined by these two bros. Can you please introduce yourselves? Yes sir, I'm Giovanni. My name's Marcos. Kadel. I'm Mackenzie. Uh, Winter. Preston. Shanna. I'm Shira. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Kaz. Who are you dressed as today? I'm dressed as Mei Hatsume from My Hero Academia. I'm dressed as Kokomi from Genshin Impact. And uh, I'm Yuta from Jujutsu Kaisen. I am Luffy. My name is Zenitsu. Uh, I'm dressed up as Pork Disty Ace from One Piece. So how'd you guys get into anime? What's the story behind that? Um, so I liked books as a kid and I uh, got on YouTube, I got recommended Fruits Basket and I was like, this is just like the book I'm reading. Uh, and so I really found that like anime was like, I don't know, it was just a visual representation of the stories that I already liked. Um, I think a lot of my friends were watching it around the time I started and they were like, oh, you got to check out this cool show. And I was like, all right. And then I just got sucked in. What was the show? I think it was Yuri on Ice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would say what inspired me is my younger brother um, and my whole family. We all watch One Piece and anime together. Honestly, in middle school, one of my boys was like, have you seen anime before? And I was like, no. And he was like, well, check out Full Metal Alchemist on Netflix. And I was probably like 14 at the time. I checked it out. Honestly, the best show I've ever seen. Then I started watching Death Note. How many got killed, different stuff like that. And ever since then, I've just been watching it every year. You know, if it weren't for this guy, I wouldn't be here right now. He put me on Full Metal Alchemist. He said, bro, you need to watch this. The show is dope. <laughs> it's all about brotherhood. Yeah. <laughs> it is, exactly. I got into it. Anime just like put me on after that. You know, I went on Death Note. That shit was pretty dope. Actually, I just like really liked the art. And um, we've gone to school together forever. And I asked her like a suggestions for anime and she suggested Fruits Basket and I was like, great. I found out about like Homestuck in middle school, which was like a really popular webcomic. And from there, like I found anime and then I found cosplaying and I'm like, oh, this looks cool. My parents actually bought my first like convention ticket. I didn't even know about conventions. So I blame them for all of this. Yeah, um, I w watched a lot of anime as a kid, specifically Naruto. So. Yeah. Uh, Kakashi was always my favorite character, so that's why I'm cosplay. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is like our first or my first real cosplay. Yeah, so um, I chose my favorite character from my favorite series. So uh, in high school, uh, me and my group of friends loved the Dark Souls series, and they all read Berserk, and they practically just put it on me, and I'm like, wow, anime is cool. So here I am. <laughs> my friend asked, have you ever seen Naruto? <laughs> and uh, I had grown up watching like Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon and Sailor Moon, but I didn't know that they were anime. So then I looked up Naruto, I was like, oh, that's why those cartoons had storylines. <laughs> and ever since then, yeah. <laughs> you guys decided to dress up as these characters. Why? Honestly, I felt like my fit was perfect for Luffy because he's like skinny cut and I honestly lost the color. <laughs> um, so I cosplayed as Ace because he is the older brother of Luffy and he's a great role model. Yo, Zenitsu stood out to me. I really wanted his kimono. Like, don't get me wrong, his kimono is hard in Demon Slayer, man. That's about it. Actually, what is the story behind you starting cosplaying? Is there something there that happened? So for me, I just wanted to embody the characters I thought were really cool. And so I think even now where I'm like, when we're taking pictures, I'm like, what does Kaguya do? Does she do this? Does she do this? And it's like one of those things that it's like just feeling cool, I guess. <laughs> so in the very beginning, I was like probably five when I went to my first ever convention in Las Vegas. I was inspired by so many people that enjoyed cosplay and how anime conventions are a way in a gathering for many people to come with the same ideals. It gives you like confidence at an anime convention to be like, you know, I'm here, I'm, I'm going all out. And um, it's just really fun to be characters that you love and have a connection with. Uh, that same friend who asked me if I like Naruto uh, was really into Bleach <laughs> and she needed a cosplay buddy for the convention that fall. So we do just dove into Bleach cosplays. <laughs> I like attention. <laughs> I really like when people want to take photos. <laughs> One of my favorite memories, we were just talking about this, is what? we were, it's the entrance of the exhibit hall. So, uh, we were joking around with Kaz and he was signing my friend's badge and this lady was like, oh, can you sign mine? And we were like, sure. And then she took a picture with Kaz and she thought he was just like a famous person and we were oh, like, yeah. okay. I was gonna say the same thing <laughs> Shira did. We feel so bad to this day gaslighting that lady, but it was so funny. It was more of an accident, but it kind of felt good. Um, I guess, 
my memory then would be just, I don't know, the time I've spent with Kenzie here, my girlfriend. She got me into cosplaying, so like, when we do couple cosplays together, that's the most fun. Yeah, so, stuff like that. I specifically yesterday, we did um, Gojo and Marin from My Dress Up Darling, and it was a lot of fun, yeah. Like, going off of my favorite cosplay, like, I love doing couple cosplays with them. We do Anna and Kristoff. And I think like that interaction like with kids is so awesome because at the end of the day, you're like, oh man, remember like that one kid who, because they always think you're real, you know? And I can tell like parents always get super nervous because they're like, these aren't Disney actors. They're real people. But I'm like, I could be on the floor dying and I'll be like, I see a kid and I'm like, okay, gotta get into character. Like I'm not gonna, you know, ruin the magic for them. And so it's just a lot of fun. Like them thinking that you're real and it just, it feels good for sure. Yeah, both of you guys look fit as hell. So you guys work out or what's your what's your deal here? Uh, I work out probably like three times a week just to stay healthy, eat good food, you know? Yes, sir, I'm gonna represent Dirty Birds. <laughs> I wrestle, we, we on that stuff, bro. Oh, shit, so what's your like training split? Do you guys do like a push-pull legs or something else? Basically push-pull legs, throwing some shoulders and traps in there. Calisthenics is life, bro. Get like 100 push-ups in, get some 200 sit-ups, and you're solid, bro. That's great. When you watch anime, it inspires you to get big or like to lift weights because you want to look like those characters. And training all this time, I was like, I finally have like a decent build. I'm going to be Luffy. See, look, anime people don't just love anime. They're also fitness bros here, hanging out, looking good. Uh, what's been the best and worst part of cosplaying? Oh, my favorite part about cosplaying is probably hot gluing all this stuff together last minute, um, but also meeting friends. Definitely making friends, I have to agree with that. And I think like photo shoots are really fun, just getting to see like a professional copy of something you worked really hard on is definitely one of my favorites, yeah. So usually it's uh, how uncomfortable it is, but this is the most comfortable so thing I've ever worn. <laughs> so usually we prioritize that. So I didn't want to do a wig or anything like that because I just wanted to be comfortable. Yeah, So, but the best part of cosplaying is what I was saying, is like feeling confident and like cool as the character itself. The one thing I love too is I've done a few group cosplays and it's so fun to like do it together. Like we would meet up a few times and our sew our costumes together. Um, the worst part is definitely wigs, especially I have huge hair under this wig and it is hell to get it in this, so yeah. Definitely like being uncomfortable is the worst. Um, yeah, I'm very uncomfortable right this moment. <laughs> the wig, uh, basically it's very itchy uh, for the hardest. Just the exhaustion at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that would be it. <laughs> when you love a character, you want to do your best to really like embody and like portray them the best that you can. And so when something's not working out quite right, there's like not much of a worse feeling than that. Even this morning, getting this, like we wanted this to be able to cover his eye, but the, for, the, for the wig to lay out and uh, normal human physics to work, <laughs> it just doesn't, yeah. it's not gonna be 100%. So like lowering your standards, yeah. it's always an element of cosplay that really hurts. <laughs> yeah. uh, for me, as cliche as it sounds, it's probably like the escapism aspect of it, just feeling like you're out of your regular life and playing someone else's, it's my favorite part. So what's your favorite anime of all time? This is really tough, <laughs> really tough. As for me, I would say Jujutsu Kaisen um, is probably my favorite so far. Oh, um, Anohana, the flower we saw that day. Mine is Psycho Pass for sure. <laughs> I would say a tie between Naruto and Death Note. Um, I'm gonna go with Oran High School. Yeah. <laughs> Oran High School host club for sure. Just so great. <laughs> um, wow. I would say Death Note. I really like Light Yagami and L, and the way they just go really deep into that anime is insane. But after seeing Attack on Titan, I don't know. I don't know. That new AOT, the fourth season, just. <sighs> I'd say AOT. All time greatest, Hunter x Hunter, man. That, That's a good one. That That's a good gone. one. He's just a goat, man. Kiwa. Of, yeah, Kia. He's dope. You know, those anime characters really go beyond limits. And they're just kids. Yeah, no, yeah. Little, they're little just kids, kids. man. <laughs> they're just, that's it. <laughs> but Hunter x Hunter stands out to me because of all that, all that, like, integrity that goes behind the work, all that physicality. I'm with it, man. I'm really with it. What would you say for anyone who wants to get into cosplaying? Any words of encouragement? Oh, I would say just do it. I think even there's a concept of like characters in street clothes now, you know what I mean? So I think even just picking okay. colors like that and stuff, uh, you could get into it quite easy and quickly. And 
I say just do it. Yeah, just like go for it. Don't be scared if you're like, oh, I don't look like that character or anything like that. Like you can still nail it and inspire other people. And yeah, just go for it. <laughs> yeah, go for it. That's all I have to. <laughs> go for yeah. it. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, honestly, just go for it. That's how I got started. I bought some of my cosplays and then I started like making stuff with foam and everything. And if you just try, I mean, it's better than nothing says like the ultimate like <laughs> costume and prop maker over here. I think for me, like some people always feel like they have to make everything and they get really nervous on how to start and how much money. And there's just a weird taboo about buying cosplays. Like go for it, buy your first cosplay. Like it, it doesn't hurt, you know? And it's a good way to start out cosplaying to decide if you like it or not, because you don't want to put so much time and effort and money into making something. And then you're like, wow, this kind of sucks. Like, you know, so yeah, just, buy it, it's okay, it's all good. Uh, my advice uh, definitely comes from the heart. Like personally, it's super easy in this field, in this community to feel self-conscious about yourself, seeing all these amazing cosplayers, but like honestly, the best thing you can do is just go into it having fun, choose your favorite character, it doesn't matter your age, your gender, what you look like or how you feel about yourself. Do it for yourself, do it to have fun and it'll be an amazing experience. All I gotta say is stay up guys, follow your dreams, and never give up on anything you want to do. You know, we here, Anime Expo, man. Wanna give a shout out to all your socials, where can people find you? Oh, man. You, you go ahead first, Marcos. Uh, you can find me at, at Marcos, slide, N-O-T-T-I-N-G-H-A-M, Nottingham. Uh, that's where you can find me at. Shout out to Dirty Birds, my wrestling team. Shout out. You can find me on Instagram at Giovanni underscore Federio, F-I-D-E-R-I-O. Check me out on Instagram at K2 underscores D-E-L-L. So, yeah. Uh, I'm Shira Cosplays on Instagram. I'm Meow Mythical on Instagram. And uh, I'm King.Kazai on Instagram. Fantastic, guys. Hey, it was a pleasure talking to you guys. Keep it up, and uh, we'll get some anime girls. Yes, sir.